In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to responsibility accounting, going through the questions and then practicing test taking skills with them. First question, an expense that is traced to a department and benefits that department only, A, common expense, B, indirect expense, C, normal expense, D, direct expense, E, standard expense. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. An expense that is traced to a department and benefits that department only is either A, a common expense. Now, a common expense, that might be the case, but that sounds like a kind of an unusual term. I'm not sure that's a term we're using here. B says an indirect expense. So an expense that is traced to a department and benefits that department. So you would think indirect, if it goes right to the department, it seems pretty direct. So I'm going to say no. C says a normal expense. And that might be the case. That sounds like kind of a normal expense that we would be thinking. And D says a direct expense. So between B and D, uh, D sounds more correct than B as a direct versus indirect. And then E says a standard expense. And again, normal, standard, these are two words that sound like they could be reasonable these sound standard or normal let's go through this again an expense that is traced to a department and benefits that department only is either c normal expense d direct expense e standard expense so of those three the term that we use is going to be the normal uh the i'm sorry the direct expense now so the normal expense isn't a term that we typically are are seeing standard expense we might hear, hear standard costs as we set standard costs for budgeting type terms. So that might sound somewhat familiar, but what should sound most familiar here is the direct expenses, direct versus indirect expenses. So we'll go through this again. Final answer, an expense that is traced to a department and benefits that department only is D, direct expense. Next question, expenses that are easily traced and assigned to a specific department. A, normal expense, B, direct expense, C, controllable expense, D, uncontrollable expense, and E, indirect expense. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Expenses that are usually traced and assigned to a specific department. A is normal expense. And again, normal expense is, is not one we're typically using here. It sounds like it could be a reasonable term, but not what, not, it's not one we typically see. And then B says a direct expense. And again, that sounds like it could be reasonable. Expenses that are easily traced and assigned to a specific department. C says a controllable expense. That also should be something that sounds familiar to us here. Uh, D says an uncontrollable expense. Now between those two, a controllable or uncontrollable. If it's, if it's traced directly there, I would think that would be more of a, something that's under the control of the department possibly. So I would think of those two, it would be controllable versus uncontrollable. And then E says indirect expenses, which is the opposite of a direct expense, it seems like, just by the terminology. And I would think that direct expense by this description is more reasonable than indirect expense. So I don't think it's going to be E. We'll leave it with B and C. Go through it again. Expenses that are easily traced and assigned to a specific department, either B, direct expenses, or C, controllable expenses now again those are both terms that we will see in this kind of area responsibility accounting and there and there could be some overlap we might think that the direct expenses are you know controllable expenses but the description here that we have is defining the directness of the of the expense because we can easily trace them to the department meaning they're they're you know just exactly part of that department and therefore it's easy to trace that's going to be a direct expense now it's probably the case that the department manager has more control the controllable expenses are typically going to be more the direct expenses oftentimes but that's not always the case these are two different terms direct expenses apply easy to apply directly to the department controllable means that the, the manager has control over it and we're going to assign that expense when we with regards to um, judging or reviewing the manager for those costs that they're covering so final answer Expenses that are easily traced and assigned to a specific department B, direct expenses.